Frida did not have an easy childhood. When she was a child, she had an illness that left her with one leg thinner than the other. Then when she was 18, she suffered a terrible bus accident. She had more than 32 operations and spent many months in bed. She started to paint because she was bored. She painted with a special easel so she could paint lying down. Frida was a very special painter. Most of her paintings are self-portraits, which means she painted herself because she said it was what she knew best. Since Frida had many health problems, but had a zest for life at the same time, her style of painting is a very strong mixture of joy and sadness, of dreams and realities, of color and pain. Her paintings are very personal and reflect what she felt at the time. Frida was not ashamed and did not hide anything. In a world where women were required to be beautiful and feminine, she painted herself by exaggerating her eyebrows and mustache. She shows everyone how she felt through her paintings. She was proud to be as she was, a Mexican woman wearing traditional and colorful clothes. <laughs> Frida fell in love with the most famous painter in Mexico, Diego Rivera. They got married and had a difficult relationship. Everyone in Mexico called them the elephant and the dove because he was very big and Frida was very small. Frida got sicker and sicker towards the end of her life but still wanted to live life to the fullest. Her last painting is called Still Life with Watermelons, on which she wrote the words, Viva la Vida, Live Life. No one has ever painted like Frida. Her unique style has made her one of the most important artists of all time.